All right, what is up? Welcome to Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Kareem with Brand Man Brandon, Brian DeGrizzly, and we're going to talk about right here, House of the Dragon, episode four, I believe it was. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, so we, we got uh, some more dialogue, figuring out things, um, and then the big finale at the end, which we'll, we'll talk about, obviously. So if you haven't watched the episode, hit pause, go check us out, or go check out the episode, come back, because we're getting into spoilers. Um, I'll start with Brand Man. What you think about this episode? How'd you like it? Or not like it? I think I wasn't really grabbed by it until probably like the last 10 or 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, it it was kind of the same as the last several episodes where it's just kind of trying to snowball up um, and, and promise this big um, like war or event or whatever's going to end up happening. And I guess we kind of got a little of that with, with, with the final few minutes. Getting a little tedious at times. But um, especially with just some of the decisions the characters are making. But um, it, it, was, it, was, it was fine. It's kind of... come. Um, than what I've come to expect out of this season so far with each new episode. Yeah. Which, I don't know, it's kind of not doing as much for me as, as, as I hoped. Mm. Definitely not bad. Just not, it's just not grabbing me like season one did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more gravitating more towards the, um, like I've said many times in the past, like the production value and that sort of thing. That's that's probably my favorite thing about this show so far. Yeah. Which would be yeah. why a, a good reason why you like that ending, because that production value at the ending is like, oh, that's where the money went. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was it was it was it was top notch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, we'll get into the ending in a minute. You know, we'll, we'll kind of keep it a, a little spoiler free and then we we'll get into the big, big finale. Uh, but what about you, Brian? How'd you like the episode? Uh, it's kind of like what I talked about before. Um, if you guys heard when we first jumped on, um, it it's like they're setting up a, a chessboard, you know, and they, they're getting ready to make this move, and they're just setting all these pieces up, setting it set, set up, set up, set up, set up, and then mm-hmm. nothing. And they keep on saying something's going to happen, and we're ready for the war, start the war, and all this stuff. Like, and this war is going to happen. All these people about to die. Just wait. They about to die. Oh, you don't want them to die. Just wait. These dragons, dragons happen. You know, and then, and then you know, end of the episode. You know, it, it, it is a lot. Uh, but the, the there are parts of this uh, episode that I liked at the beginning. Um, Damon, mm. dude, with the, you know, seeing Rhaenyra and, 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 and actually chopping off her head, the young Rhaenyra, like chopping off her head and, and having the crown hit the ground. Him dealing with those those issues that he has with her, because she is a little girl that he he used to bounce on his, on his on his knee. She is the one who took the crown from him. She is all those things and someone he also loves. That you know, they have this thing together. So he's mm-hmm. having a a very a big issue with that, and seeing that him chop off her head, and then she's still talking, still talking. Yeah was just awesome uh I, I i appreciated that scene a lot um i thought that had m- multiple meanings yeah. also real quick i like how it's the younger version of her yep. it's, it's uh, millie Al- me too Al- it's yep. not the newer version it's like it's kind of creepy and icky you know but also that's a targaryen thing is to be creepy creepy and icky um yep. but it, I, I always thought it was very interesting that that's the version he sees and not the older new the one from the current time but yeah mm-hmm. well i feel like because that is him trying to um understand or trying to make sense of the past and and accept what's going on and can he accept it or is he going to make his claim for the throne he's trying to figure those things out and uh i think that was just it's awesome to see yeah um so i mean that was that was entertaining uh, mm-hmm. Allison is still awful, just awful, awful, awful human being. Like everyone would be happy, everyone would have been better if she could just died. If she would just <laughs> die, someone would just killed her. 
you know, Rhaenyra just like slit her throat real quick. We all be okay. Everyone in the show will be fine. You know, no one misses out nothing. Even they got to be better. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> just, she's just the worst. And um, but seeing Aegon realize that they don't really want him to be king. They just want him to be a figurehead. How does he? How's he dealing with that? That was a, uh, interesting. And and realizing that Aemon is is better at this stuff than he than he is. And yeah. then and even us seeing the whole idea that Aemon is is, is so much like his uncle, like. You know, he sh- Eamon and Damon are the same person, you know, and they go through the same thing. And uh, just it was so many little little hints that kind of fed us into it. And then finally, we got some action. So, mm-hmm. you know, give me dialogue, give me good writing and then give me action. This is probably the best episode I've seen this season. Oh, I would have to agree The the first episode was was good because I think it was it was continuing from the ending of the last season. So you kind of, you know, had some, some grace to, to play with, but this, I, I would agree. This is the best episode, you know? Um, you know, yeah. See, saying everything you were talking about, I agree with. I like all of that. Um, even, you know, um, on, and Dragonstone where, you know, Rhaenyra is, is gone, you know, cause obviously she's coming back from her little mission and everyone's freaking out. You know, so it's like you have like this power play of like, oh, well, I'm going to be in charge. I'm going to be in charge. Oh, well, I'm in charge while she's not here. You know, and meanwhile, uh, um, her aunt was a Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra's, I think. I forgot which Mm -hmm. one. Her aunt, who should have been queen before her dad, um, you know, was kind of like up there doing it. And people are like, wait, who made you the boss? And she's like. And then Corliss walks in and says, what? You know, (laughs) you better, you better listen up, you know. You know, so I mean, she was the, she was the, she's the princess one, so she's probably the highest ranking person. But two is like she should have been the king or queen, you know, instead of, you know, the series. So, yeah, so, um, you know, there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of setup and stuff like that. But I, I remember texting you guys after I finished watching. I'm like, again, a bunch of dumbasses making dumbass decisions, and it, it gets a little repetitive at times i don't want to say it's boring because it's not boring but it gets repetitive and i was like okay you know i was still seeing the same crap you know i was like this bad decision making after bad decision making i was like what you know and then finally somebody tells Aegon the shit he needs to hear from his mom Mm -hmm. oh and and you're talking about like you know her she needs to die i think she i think that was poison she drank right where she drank because she was killing the baby Cause she's pregnant. Oh, oh yeah, that makes more. That makes so much more sense now. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Yeah, yeah. Cause oh my god. Cause then oh, which is yeah. Well, we'll get into Kristen. Cause Jesus Christ. Um, but you know, Aegon is having like a, a moment with with his mother. You know, not not like you know a figurehead. Not like oh, you're the queen. Blah blah blah. Like no, mother to son. She's telling him. She goes. Listen, man, we did a lot of shit for you to get there. You're fucking it up. You need to sit back and shut up and let the big boys do the job, you know? Yeah. And, and she told him flat out, you know, the only one that gave him enough respect, you know, as as the king and as her son, like, I'm, I'm going to tell you how it is, man, you know? And he obviously didn't handle it well because he went <laughs> drinking and then made horrible decisions. <laughs> he was like, uh, she, she was like, um, uh... I need you to sit there and do nothing. Do exactly what we need you to do for in this war. Yeah. I need you to do exactly what we need. Nothing. Yeah. Sit your ass down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, I thought that was uh, that was that was like, that was interesting. Um, oh yeah, talk about uh, uh, Sir Sir Kristen Cole. Uh, anytime they miss the opportunity to take out Kristen Cole is a negative for me. Uh, talking about a dude, you just wanna. Kicking the nuts and punching the face, like oh, I can't stand him. Uh, and then they give him the douchiest fucking haircut, like of all time. Mm-hmm. Like, I like got of all all of Westeros. He has like <laughs> the whole like he, he got the haircut done when he became uh, Han, and it was like, oh, I just want to punch you even harder now, man. Like, <laughs> like you're just a douchebag. So I mean, he's you know. he's accepting the douchebag and he's embracing it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 
really is. He really is, you know, because like the who is it, Allison's cousin or whoever it was, the other yeah, high cousin. power, you know, that came in. You know, he's like, I'm better than you. You know what you're doing. And then he kind of like kind of showed him up a little bit, but it was more luck than anything, I feel like. You know, but yes, uh, Sir Kristen Cole is just like, yeah, and then and then if he he's already I just the whole dude is pissing me off because like you should be more mad because you know those are your kids from Rhaenyra. He knows it. Everyone fucking knows it. That's part of the issue, you know? And then you're cool with the new girl that you're with with one of her kids killing your bastard child, you know? But then then you make a kid, a new baby, with the same chick, like with, yeah. with Allison now? Like, dude has no, like, he wants to, that's the thing I think pisses me off. He wants to act like he is better than everyone else because he has, a, like, mm-hmm. morals. But he's the biggest piece of shit out of everyone. But And isn't that what the dude that when, before he got his head chopped, um, chopped off, he said? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, he said exactly, pretty much that, yep. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, don't everybody. deserve to have that white the white uh cloak. cloak what the hell's wrong with you yeah yeah so i i cannot wait kristen cole is becoming not not close to joffrey because joffrey's on a whole nother level but he's getting to that point where like i can't wait to see him get killed in a very satisfying way <laughs> i know? just wish a, a random arrow to go in the, in in the air and to kill kristen and aim at the same time just like go through both their hearts at the same exact time i hole into it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like when 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 he fell off his horse and in his head i'm like they better not kill him off like that like i want to see him like get killed i want mm-hmm. demon to like literally chop off his head yeah yeah um all right so we've been avoiding the the big finale um the big finale the Finally, see some you know dragon on dragon action again. Um, and it, man, it did not disappoint. Um, I'll start with Brandman. What you think about the finale with the big fight scene? I liked it. It was my it was my favorite part of the um, of this episode. He said I was kind of more middle of the road on the whole episode, a little more than you guys were. Um, but yeah, I felt bad for the one dragon who just kept getting just just its shit wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, that that was that was pretty cool to watch. Um yeah, as as a whole, that that was kind kind of was kind of felt a little bad on the way it ended too for for that particular character, but yeah. Should have been paying closer attention. Yeah, again. <laughs> and she's not <laughs> Even upsets me because she's not a dumbass, but she definitely made a dumbass decision. You know that was that was out of character. You know it, it felt like they like she made a dumb decision for the sake of the writers needing feeling the need to to have her make a dumb decision. Yeah, it's like mind your surroundings. Seriously, it, it was kind of set up, and you know she's like, uh, "Yeah, you guys send me and all this other stuff." Um, it was kind of set up, and I, I knew I was waiting for the other shoe to drop, and then it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. she's I, the only I, one that had sense, so she had to die pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but then she died by making a stupid decision, you know. I think she should have yeah. just took off, you know. You know, yeah, even, even, it was, yeah, good. It, no, I was, I was just reiterating that it just kind of fell out of character. Very, very much so. Especially like you just, she just went on this rant on how she has a better dragon. She has one of the bigger dragons. She has experience. The dragon has experience. So I was like, so you've been here. You know how, you know what you're doing. And then she does something yeah. like that. Like, you know, it was like, where else did this fucking dragon, this, the, the, the biggest dragon of everyone, like it just disappeared? Like, where else is it going to go? Like, you know. So here, here's here's the the last question I want to ask you guys before you know we'll start ending it is who's in charge now? The king's dead, right? The person who was uh, told they were going to be in charge is still alive. You know, obviously Rhaenyra doesn't take back the throne. It you know, but who who 
is going to be calling the shots the next episode. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I think so. That seems kind of what it's kind of drifting towards. And that's the scariest thing. Because now, yeah. Yeah, but you, you should have kept it, kept everyone. You should have kept him alive. No matter what we got to do, we got to keep him alive. Because if Eamon takes over, we're all in trouble. Hey, you mm-hmm. can't control him. You can't control him. He, but he's all, you saw him strategically, how, how his brain works and how smart he is. And why we, we're going to do this to do this. And now you're in a war with someone who's going to play going to do everything the right way he's going to win the war he's going to fight this war in a way that you're not going to be able to win the worst that happens is everyone dies the best that happens is he wins that's all that's going to happen <laughs> you know like <laughs> you should have just left well enough alone yeah if you're watching uh on the replay thank you for so much for checking us out hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave a comment let us know what you uh, think about it um do you like it do you hate it any any theories on uh who's alive who's dead what's gonna happen let us know we love to chat about this stuff um but um if you are live stick around because we're gonna get into the comments about this one